Now today we're talking about poses. Probably not Vogue, but uh, body poses when we die. Now the body decays when it dies, and if you've watched my other video, we talk about the different stages of decomposition. But I'm not gonna talk about that today. We're gonna to talk about rigor mortis and posing. Now the way that our body poses when we die can really be telling for a criminal investigator, and rigor mortis helps in estimating the time of death as well as to ascertain if the body has been moved after death. Now, when you're alive, your muscles contract and relax thanks to actin and myosin getting pumped around. But when we die, there is no pumping action. So our bodies contract and stiffen and stay that way. Now the stiffening starts in the heart and goes along in digestive progressions, followed by eyes, neck, jaw, chest, upper limbs, and then finally fingers and toes. It can be one to two hours after death and up to 12 hours, then sustained for 12 hours and gone over the next 12 hours. And it's called the March of Rigor. A rigor mortis appears rapidly in children and older aged people, but in these cases, it usually disappears earlier as well. The effect of rigor on individual muscles can be an additional significance. Some crazy things happen and they're different for everyone. The skin can look like goose skin when the hair follicles pucker, the heart ventricles can thicken, and there could even be post-mortem ejaculation as the chambers thicken, which occasionally gets wrongly interpreted as sexual activity just before death. Now, cadaveric spasms are something else and happen before rigor mortis sets in and usually affects the hands. Now, unlike rigor mortis, the spasm doesn't relax after hours and it's when they get instantaneously rigid and can adopt a pugilistic pose. Scientists have said it can show that someone was holding something before death, fighting, or in the case of drowning, grabbing at weeds. But Bedford and Tuscus in their 2013 paper questioned the validity of this theory, and many other researchers have said that the spasm is a natural movement of your hand closing. Now it is rare for a full body spasm, but it can happen, and it's thought that that's what occurred in Pompeii, as the bodies are in the same position they died in, having gone into immediate rigor caused by the extreme flash heating of their bodies. Now, I have a bit of personal experience when it comes to the spasm. I was uh, covering a case as a CSI when a man who had been driving a motorcycle at crazy high speeds went head first into the passenger side of the front window uh, he died instantaneously and his hands were in the position that he would have been over the handlebars and when we got him in obviously he had no face and we have to make sure that the person who died is going to be the same person when we go and tell their family so what could we do well his hands were so stiff that even a couple of us we couldn't prize them open and even if we did get them a little bit they were immediately closed and they also had leather gloves on so what I had to do is I had to break the fingers of this man's hand and then while one of them was open and it still kept trying to go back into the same pose even though you know the bone's broken but the muscles are still trying to get back in the same I ended up having to cut his finger off so that I could get a fingerprint just to make sure that we could tell his family that it was him that was definitely died in this horrific motorcycle accident weird things you do when you're a CSI. An interesting study in India by D'Souza, Rajesh, Harish and Kiran. Now they studied an individual whose rigor defied gravity. Now back in over in India, they don't have CSIs and the forensic team usually work from photographs taken by police officers and the body that's gone to the morgue. So in this particular case, they had a picture of this woman who had her foot up in the air. Now, they concluded that even though this body was found outside on the ground, they believed that she was originally put in a bag before rigor set, I guess, to carry the body around. And unfortunately, she'd been strangled. Lividity on her body had shown that she was in a different position originally and had been posed before rigor. Sad case there. Now, not all death poses are usually that's unusual, but one of the most difficult for an investigator is death by fire. But that's for another day. So until then, subscribe.